What's up guys, Alan's here, and today I'm going to be reviewing one of the horror flicks, that's right, a horror movie that is coming out this summer on August 9th, which is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Let's get reviewing. The movie Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is directed by Andrea Orvidell, who is actually a very good director, has directed good films. And but not only but that, but Juan de Toro, the Academy Award director, is producing this film. So if, that, if there's anything I learned is that any film that has to do with Drama de Toro is a good film. So this uh, movie is based off the book in which this movie takes place in Mill Valley, Pennsylvania. In which a group of four teens uh, heard a story about the family of the Bellows, but most specifically Sarah Bellows, with her darkest secrets and of course her dark past. Sarah Bellows actually creates dark, scary stories based off of that and it has been like possessing the town like quite for a while as a legend. So a group of four teams actually go inside the house unfortunately, covering the secrets and all of that and it seems to me that Stella is actually leading the group and the group includes four people, Augie, Chuck, and Raman, each of them figuring what's going on in the house. But Stella finds a book uh, collection of scary stories that Sarah made, and they actually read it one by one. But actually, it, this becomes a really twisted event. As the stories began becoming more scary and scarier, it became so scary that it, it actually became too real for them, and they placed themselves in the story. And by the way, in this movie, there are going to be five stories compared to seven in the book. So for those that, you know, love the story the thing or the basket you might not see in this movie but that's okay because we have the major ones in this one which includes the dream including the pale woman the big toe the red spot Harold the ghost of course featuring with Sarah and the newest one that we have not read in the books being the jangle man which is actually going to be a very beneficial part of the movie if you go see the editors and watch it but I like this idea because each of the five stories actually connects to each five of the characters. And just, if it all connects, Chuck is going to be in the dream, Augie is going to be in the big toe, Rufus is going to be in red spot, Tommy of course is going to be in Harold, and Stella is going to be featuring in the ghost. Of course, Raymond being the Jango Man and the police officer according to the story. If there's anything people learn in the scary stories to tell in the dark book, there's always a scary story that has to do with the officer. But yeah, but I, my favorite is just the cast, like, they, like, Stella, Raman, Chuck, and all, they all have funny moments in the film, just like the movie It. So, it's really cool how they're working together and they're trying to protect each other from getting killed. There will be gruesome in the scene, so... So those that are really young, be aware. But yeah, I, if I had to say anything else, the cinematography is beyond the charts. Like literally, they did such a good job making the details of like the setting and of course the whole like making of content and like dark, kind of like similar to what the book was described. If we were reading the book and picturing our minds, this movie actually connects it to it very well. Especially this one scene that I like when Chuck enters the, the scary story, The Dream, in which it involves the pale woman, and the scene becomes from colored to red. That was the coolest transitioning of colors in the film, which is why I really like the cinematography thing and the way the shots are being made in the movie. Even I watched the behind the scenes of it, and it actually looks incredible. And the, as for the music, it's so suspenseful and so creepy, that it actually really does make you have chills in your heart and really makes you scared in, in different ways from one turn to another from creature to creature with the sound and everything it's unbelievable it's like the quiet place but much more and the editing it just is like they really edit the sound perfectly and cut some parts of the film that actually made the film flow better which makes actually the story much more effective to its audience and the costume, I'm guessing the pale woman was act the actress was in the pale woman to make it look scary. 
but the CGI and the animation of it, unbelievable. Like the details of the creatures, like, no, like, this actually is scary. Like, I cannot imagine that in our world, somebody behind that door popping out and actually trying to attack you. Like, that would be scary. Like, I would, I, I, I would not be able to come out alive if that happened. But yeah, but, just like overall, like the story, Thank you for making this like the book, like, so, my favorite moment of this film that I really enjoy is actually based off the red spot that was based in the scary stories of the dark, but with Ruth actually, uh, you know, one of the cast members now being connected to the story of the red spot, it's actually really scary, like she is actually going through the phase of being part of a school and thinks that she has a zip but with a spider poking out, She's actually very scared and actually hurts and it pops out on Remember kids, and of course most of all, high school teens, before you go to prom and homecoming dance, why don't you put some acne cream and Nusperine? It would save you a lot of trouble, especially maybe that zip is actually full of spiders. Take it from me. I would not like to know what's in that zip. But anyway, just the sort, that's what I really like about the film. And just, there are always memorable moments in the film that you actually enjoy. So what am I gonna say about this film? Well, from one thing's more ways than one, I'm gonna say this. Andrew Abdel, you made this as good as the book did. You really did connect to your core, so thank you. And of course, anything to do with Jerome Totoro, it's always going to be a great film. I mean, even with his mind and like the ideas and all of that, and even with Andrew Dell creating his ideas his own, we'll actually have a masterpiece horror film. And you know, with an amazing cast, and of course the cinematography, and the creatures looking creepy as hell, the story actually making this more of like, no plot, not so much plot holes, and actually make amazing storyline according to the book, great editing, animation, and of course, the costume and the music. You actually have a great horror film. I'm gonna give this a 8.0 out of 10. Seriously guys, do not go and see it. It will seriously traumatize your brain. Like you, you won't be able to go to sleep at night. So please don't go. You're gonna scare yourself. Please don't go, no matter what cost. Do not go and see it if you don't like horror movies. Why am I hearing footsteps? Ah, oh my gosh. I see what you reviewed, I see the ending you review, and I dissatisfy your answer. Okay, yeah, but can you literally tell me this, like, literally after the video's over? I'm doing a review right now. I don't care what you review. I am literally gonna end you right now. If you do not encourage viewers to see it. Yeah, no, there's, there's no way you're gonna change my opinion about this. Do it right now! Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, I will make sure that I uh, will say a good score. I'll make sure people go. I'm sorry, but I got your review. It has been cut short. It really will. I, I don't want to die. Not in this room. Not at night. Not during summer. Time to die. <laughs> no, oh my gosh. That was such a nightmare. Well, okay, at least it was a dream. For my final score, I'm gonna give this a 8 out of 10. Just, I mean, even better, 8.5 out of 10. Well, that's the end of my review. If you like what you see here, please like, it, like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you wanna see more of my content, click on my, uh, like, at the end of this video, my most uploaded and like my most recent and all that stuff. So, yeah, check out my channel, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, love you. Okay, who turned off the lights here? Wait. Oh, no, 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 no!